from the Missoula Children's Theater, and we have had an incredible week here in Temple. We are so excited for you guys to see what these kids have been working so hard on all week. Really quickly before we get started, we would like to thank our sponsor, the HEB Tournament of Champions, for sponsoring us this week. Let's give them a round of applause. Um, we would also like to announce that we will be selling DVDs of this performance for $20. They'll be available outside and in the box office. These DVDs will not only include a video of the production itself, but they'll have some backstage photos and pictures of the whole week. So it'll really be a good look at the whole process. So if you would like to purchase one of those, they are on sale right after the show, and they'll be outside. We do ask that for the performance, please do not, please silence your cell phones. And please um, do not take any photos or videos. Like we said, the video will be available. And we have a photo opportunity at the end of the show for you to get pictures of all your bunnies and your lizards and your snakes and your reptiles and everybody. Um, so yes, thank you so much for being here. We can't wait for you to see it and enjoy the show. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Good morning, every mom and pop, your daughter and your son. Good morning, Gramps and Grandmama. Good morning, Uncle Joe. Good morning, friends and friends of friends, and all the folks you know. Good morning, good morning, to mammals everywhere. Good morning, every reptile, every tortoise, every hare. Good morning, you and you and you and to our TV crew. We'll say hello, then off we go, we all got lots to do. Welcome to our desert town, our quiet country Sandy Bottoms. But that's what you've been saying for hours, Osgood, well, old friend. Ever since you insisted on trusting that ancient gold miner. <laughs> and with this grizzly beard. And his snuggly teeth. And his rather curious sense of hygiene. Take the shortcut, you said. You can't miss it, you said. If you want my opinion, fellow actor, I believe we're lost. <gasps> lost in this vast desert with nothing but sand 
And Sagebush. And sand, and, and, and what else? And salamanders. Oh. And sand, and sand, and more sand. I see no stage, and I see no audience. I see a sign, a sign that reads, Welcome to West Sandy Bottoms. You see? Ooh, we're here. But, Osgood, are we to perform here on this rustic platform? Rustic? This platform's not rustic. It's sacred. It is. The stage! And Osgood, who are all these rather, uh, common people? Why? They are the audience. And common they're not, but coming they are. Coming en masse to enjoy our play. Greetings, dear friends. You're just in time for our alarming, disarming, and utterly charming performance is about to begin. Not exactly dressed for the theater, are they? Oh, Basil, don't be such a snob. The curtain is rising. Curtain? What curtain? I don't see any curtain. Just sing. Once, Once upon a time in a land of long ago, a shady tree grew on a hill and gathered there below, which were folks who came from miles around to sit and listen to the sound of stories, simple and profound, of tales we came to know. As the fable tells of Aesop, where bouncy bunnies hip hop, where turtles are steady and oh, so slow. Well, once upon a time, it's right here, right now and so, the time has come to tell the tale, let Aesop's fable flow. A story of a time and place, a time to set the best play, a place to run the winning race. And now, at last, our show is officially beginning. I wonder who'll be winning. Excitement is beginning to grow and grow. It is time to get on with the show. Thank you, Basil, and get on with it, we shall indeed, for our version of the fable of the tortoise and the hare, first told by Master Aesop, has passed through generations. Yo, excuse us, got a live TV news broadcast coming up. That's right, live. Yeah, we're in the air in two minutes. Yo, two minutes. Oh, but my dear fellows, we are obviously in the midst of a most significant and profound misunderstanding. For you see before you a world-renowned thespian troupe emotionally involved in the throes of mid-performance. Obviously, a disruption is out of the question. For our tale runs the risk of being lost to the ages. Oh, what a shame, but the news is live. Yo, live news, relax and check out the news. Yo, check out the news. Oh, oh I've never been so... That is to say, I'm simply appalled, humiliated beyond humanitarian bounds. Where is your superior? A superior who will listen to princess? Oh. Ah! Come along, fellow artist. We shall soon be vindicated. Oh. In time for the second act. I hope. You there, a moment of your time? Yes, you gentle friends. May we ask with whom we are conversing? Yo, Gordy. Yo, Ralphie. Yo, Paul. Who charmed to meet your acquaintance? Osgood and my fellow troubadours. We have ventured here from afar, and this fortnight shall be bestowing upon West Sandy Bottoms a brilliant production of the Master Aesop's The Tortoise versus the Hare. Yo, we're a little busy here. It's almost night time. Yo, and today's night time is race time. Yo, Ralphie, I think you said race time. What does that mean? Oh, 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 oh. Exactly was that? Yo, I've got no idea. Well, if we must bid farewell, then we must. <gasps> Yo, what was that? Yo, Ralphie, yo, Polly. 
Yo, Gordy, how's it going? Yo, Gordy, how's it going? It's going good, but what's with those guys? Yo, who knows? Yo, who knows? They sure talk funny. Yo, we better hurry up. Yo, Polly, five seconds to air. Yo, you got it, Ralphie. In five, four, three, two, go! Barrett and family, your gas with a smile, but remember, Mammals only. And WMCT TV channel 99 here in beautiful downtown West Sandy Bottoms proudly presents and one, and a two, and one, two, three, four. The latest news for you to see. And hear what will the weather be. Then all the sports from A to Z on WMCT TV. But first, a word from our sponsor, Ferret and Family, your guest with a smile, it's mile after mile, but remember, Mammals only. Come on out and see us and fill up your tank at Ferris Family Philo, Felix, and Frank. Aloha, friends and neighbors. Philo Ferret here with my kiddos, Felix and Frank. It's island days here at Ferret Gas. Come on down for a free mug of pineapple punch while you fill up with the cheapest gas this side of Prickly Pear Pass. And remember, mammals only. Yeah, you reptiles don't even think about Felix, be nice. Yeah, you reptiles. Oh. Yeah, sure, sorry. Ha ha, Felix. Come on, son. Come on, stop. <laughs> well, this is a big night and big day here in West Sandy Bottoms, right, Cupcake? Right, you are, Bailey. In fact, we are coming to you live this morning, just around the sand dune, from the big race. Everyone's buzzing about tonight's, tonight's big race. Will Alligator, last year's reptile runner-up, come out of retirement for one more shot at the Mammal Champ? Curly hair? Well, we'll get some answers later in the show from Buddy Cords. Plus, I'll have exclusive interviews when I go trackside. But first, today's other news. A water shortage is causing concern in our community. Recent drought conditions have been hard on reptiles and mammals alike. Now, let's have a sneak peek at the weather for the really big race. Any rain on the forecast, Stormy? Hey, look at the weather. Rain, snow, or sunny. <laughs> hey, look at the weather. Rain, snow, or sunny. Is it going to be good? It's going to be good, all right. Very good. I'm talking goody good. Oh, the weather's going to be bad, very bad. But bad it is. Did I say bad? Bad, bad, bad. So the weather lookout is? Bad or good. Could be good. Very good. I'm talking goody, good, good. Go outside and enjoy the weather. Any other weather questions? Uh, no thanks, Stormy. No question. That clears it right up. Oops. Clears it up. That's what I said. Clears it up. Is it going to be cloudy, oh, rainy, no. or a little snow? Stormy. Thanks, Stormy. Stormy? It's going to be stormy? Go up, go inside. The weather's a mess. Oh. <laughs> any other? Thanks. Any other weather questions? No thanks, Stormy. No questions. Yeah. I'm Let's go to sports. It's going to be big, big night, big race, really big race. Big, big, or not so big. Maybe small, tiny, really tiny. Buddy. Just kidding. <laughs> the big race happens once a year, every year. And tonight is the big night. We all remember last year when the green machine alligator gave it all she had. But curly hair hopped up in the last moment and chopped up the 40th victory for that fuzzy mammal team. And, as you may recall, Curly dedicated that race to his longtime manager and trainer, Coach Mink. I'm going to head over trackside now to see if we can't get a word with the reigning champ himself. 
I'm sure Curly's a little busy now because it's nearly race time. Oh. Oh. What was that? Yo, I've got an idea. Buddy, you're on. Oh, I'm on. Yeah. Oh, oh. <gasps> Hello, Vespians. I've noticed a rather curious coincidence. This news story and our own magnificent rendition of the tortoise and the hare. They are the same story. Precisely. But what about that disturbing news item? About the... Drought? What did that fellow bird say? Mammals only? Can mammals be despising reptiles? Simply because reptiles are not mammals? But how could that be? You're speaking of... <gasps> Prejudice! We must let all good know. Oh. <laughs> how do I look, Gordy? We on? Yes. Okay. Any minute now, I'll have exclusive interviews with Curly Hair himself. But first, we're expecting the arrival of the official fan club. Oh, look! Here they come now! It's the Curly Hair Junior Fan Club, the pride of mammal moms and dads everywhere, led by their hunt mother, Mrs. Bunny. We got a special treat for you folks. The number one on the top 40 for the umpteenth year in a row. And the song that gave Curly that long time nickname. It's time for QC Curly! But winning is his game. A happy, happy bunny who never wants your face. His smiling lips are rosy and his teeth are pearly white. His nose is always wiggling. His eyes are big and bright. Curly is so awesome and what a cutie sight. <laughs> Gracious, generous, and ever humble curly hair. Gee, Curly, it's too bad you missed your fan club. Yeah, whatever. I wait until they're gone. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, congratulations, Curly. You're the odds-on favorite for the big race. Oh, you call it odd. A little joke there, buddy. 
I'm the favorite because I'm going to win that race. I'm going to win that race by a mile. I'm Curly Hair. Uh, Curly Hair runs rings around ragged and rocking and rolling and running rivals. That, uh, that's, no one straightens out Curly Hair. That, uh, no one straightens me out. That's right. You know, no one straightens out Curly Hair. Hey, I got to go find my posse. I'm out of here. Oh, oh. Well, Curly seems a little uh, different this year. I can't help but wonder if Curly's new management team might have changed Curly's attitude and not for the better. In fact, let's see if we can grab a minute or two with the infamous sibling team, Mo and Bo Weasel. Hey, Mo, Bo, got a sec? Sure thing, buddy old pal. Anything for the press. In fact, we've got news for you, a real scoop. Hey, are we on the air? Oh, we're on the air. <gasps> Hi, Mo, Hi, Mo. Ma never misses a big race. Oh, well, that's really nice, Mo. <laughs> Now, Bo, how about that big announcement? As you know, buddy, Curly's always been known as Cutesy Curly. Right! <laughs> Quite the nickname! Cutesy Curly is kid stuff. Curly's ready for the big time. And big time to big bucks, endorsements, Hollywood, star time! But a star with a name like Cutesy Curly, <laughs> I don't think so. But, but Cutesy Curly is a role model for mammal kids everywhere. Role model? There's no big bucks in that. And no big bucks in being cutesy either. <laughs> so get ready for the all new and improved curly hair. Curly's really rough and really tough. And made of burly bunny stuff. So give it up for the new big bad bunny boss of the block, Curly Burly. Hey, 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 I'm back and I'm Curly Burly. That is so good, that is so bad, that is so me. Hey, 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 my buds, my posse. Curly! if it helps Curly in the big race. And speaking of the big race, I bet Curly's workouts were really intense this year, right, Mo? Intense? Sure. Lots of sprints intermixed with some long runs and some lifting. Sprints? Long runs? Lifting? What are you talking about? Well, to keep Curly on top and to earn that Curly Burly nickname, the workouts must have been really heavy duty. Oh. They were heavy duty, all right. Heavy duty sleeping till noon. Heavy duty brunches, lunches, and afternoon naps. And not to mention heavy duty goofing off and having fun. Speaking of fun, there's going to be a huge victory party. <gasps> I think the party's already started. The party started without us? What's up with that? We're out of here. How about those two role models for mammal youth? <laughs> They're out of here, and so are we. I'm going to head over to the reptile camp, where rumor has it there's big news waiting for us there. But first, let's send you back to the control booth. We better hurry, because it's nearly race time. <laughs> What was that? Yo, I've got an idea. Going live to the afternoon report. Cupcake? Oh. Yo. Did it cupcake? Yo. In five, five four, four, three, two, two. Yeah. go. Thanks for that report, bud. 
everybody. This just in. The West Sandy Bottoms Police Department is forming a search party to look for a y missing young mammal. Little Bonnie Bunny was last seen snacking on a frozen carrot cream bar after the fan club performance trackside. Bonnie's mother, Miss Bonnie, reports that Bonnie Bunny was wearing a fan club t-shirt, a big orange bow in between her ears, and Bonnie's mother reports that her daughter's dream is to meet her hero, curly hair, in person. Police Chief Martin Marmot speculated that Bonnie Bunny may have gone into the desert to try and find Curly during the race. That would put her in a lonely and windy tornado gulch and just as darkness falls. If any of you mammals out there want to help find Bunny Bunny, you are asked to please contact Chief Marmot at police headquarters. Bonnie's mother is in seclusion in her hutch, waiting for the word that her Bonnie is safe. Tough story, right, Stormy? It's tough, all right, or could it be? How about a look at the weather for the big race? It's going to be cool tonight, Cupcake. Really cool. I mean, so cool. Hip-hop and rock and roll, Anne. Stormy, enough. We've got the picture. Picture? What picture? I love pictures, especially pictures and songs about weather, whether I'm right or whether I'm wrong. Haha, <laughs> I love that song. What a gas. <laughs> and speaking of gas, here's another word from our sponsor, Fair and Family. Your gas with a smile, mile after mile. And remember, mammals only. Come on down and see us and fill up your tank at Fair and Family Philo Felix and Frank. Hello, furry friends and neighbors. Philo Ferret here again with my kiddos, Felix and Frank. You know, folks, there are some things in life more important than selling gas. And when we heard a little mammal was in trouble, well, we just had to do the right thing. So we're having a sale? So we can make luck. And lots of kids, settle down and listen. Fair Gas is now offering a reward for the safe return of Bonnie Bunny. A reward? Are you kidding? That's right, a reward. Well, Philo, that's terrific. Downright generous. Yeah, really cool. Groovy radical and stormy. Right, way to go, Philo. The kind and caring mammal who finds a sweet little bunny will receive a slightly used but adorable file ferret bobblehead doll, completed with realistic fragrance. Oh. Um, Philo, that's really swell, really swell, really swell. Well, let's head over, over to Buddy Court at Trackside, where it's nearly race. Stop. You, have, you almost said race time. <laughs> Seriously, Gordy, what was that? Joe, you know, I've got an idea. You're on. Oh, somehow, with little Bonnie Bunny all alone out there, it's kind of hard for anybody to concentrate on the big race. In fact, the turnout here at the reptile camp is a lot lighter than expected. So tell me, where is everybody? Let's ask the Gecko family. Where are all the reptiles? They're in the desert, looking for poor little Bonnie Bunny. Oh, we need to go but our family is allergic to sand. Ah, Did I hear you say the reptiles are out there in the blazing sun looking for a mammal? Yes, they sure are. No luck. Oh, what about you two? I searched in every pond, Ribbit. It's under every lily pad, Ribbit. Oh, but you're Augie Froggy and Jody Toady. You're not even reptiles. You're amphibians. Hey, we amphibians can help too. We're all animals, aren't we? Oh. And how about you, Camellia Chameleon? I just came from Sagebrush Canyon. No sign of Bonnie anywhere. Oh, I see. And you, Slinky Sidewinder and Morocco Rattlesnake? I slithered through every drain pipe in West Sandy Bottoms. Bonnie Buddy is nowhere to be seen. Oh. And I ran on my way down Dry Creek Bed, Spider Camp Brown, screaming campers, but no Bonnie Bunny. Oh. Hey, are there any other reptiles out there looking for Bonnie Bunny? Sure, Granny Copperhead is. You mean Cora Copperhead? Well, Bonnie Bunny. When, when she heard Bonnie was in trouble, she just had to help. But I don't understand. I mean, that Bunny is a mammal. She's not 
Well, she's just not green. I'm trying to like these folks who tap to help each other. We're all different, but who cares? What if we looked exactly like, I mean, hello? An interesting thought, Beady Bearded Dragon and Lizard McChill. What if we did look exactly alike? Boring, get over it. <laughs> what if we all just fly, fly? Hey, right on, why can't we all just like each other? Yeah, yeah. Good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I never thought. And now I don't know what to think or what to say. Oh, look, here comes. Here comes the coach! Here comes the coach! Here comes the coach! Here comes the coach! Whoa! Hey, coach! Hey, coach! Hey, coach! Hey, coach! Coach Shelley Bullback, it's an honor to meet a real legend. I'm Buddy Court from WMCT TV. Now, coach, can I call you Shelley? No. Uh, uh, well, of course not. <laughs> Gee, Shelley, I mean, Coach Bullback. It's been 40 years since the green team has won the race. And, as we all recall, the winner of that race was none other than Shelly, I mean, Coach Bullback. And that is... Uh, Me. I know. You won the race that year, and since then the green team has lost 40 races in a row. But today is a new day, and we're all waiting for the big news. So, tell us, who's going to run this year? Tell us the name Buddy? of the... Uh-huh. Settle down. Right. Well, I've got bad news, and I've got bad news. Which do you want to hear? Well, uh, how about the bad news? The bad news is you're getting on my nerves, buddy. <laughs> Just kidding! <laughs> All right, gather round. The bad news is that Alligator, last year's runner-up, uh -huh. will not returning to run this year. Huh? Allie is staying down in Florida. Loves the wrestling game. Oh. Well, what about Leaping Lizard? No, not gonna happen. Mr. Attitude got a little ahead of himself and sprained his ankle practicing his victory dance. Oh my gosh. Well, so who's left? Who's and, gonna run? And that, my motor mouse friend, is the other bad news. There's no one left. We're gonna have to forfeit. We're gonna have to give up. No! no! Give up? But you can't. There must be somebody who can run. Well, what about you? Or you? Or, or well, you? Maybe you? Or you? Well, somebody? Anybody? Who can we pick? Oh my goodness, golly gee. Pick somebody, but don't pick me. I'm as slow as slow can be. Oh my goodness, golly gee. Lizards have such tiny legs, and rabbits are so tall. How about a speedy snake? We've, We've got, got no legs, legs at all. Oh, why not Papa Gator or Cousin Crocodile? They're cruising down in Florida like swimming for a while. Oh my goodness, golly gee, pick somebody but don't pick me. I'm as slow as slow can be. Oh my goodness, golly gee. Well, one of you will have to do. Be brave. Come on, be bold. Why not show me bold back? Sorry, folks, I'm way too old. Uh, oh, my goodness, golly gee. Pick somebody, but don't pick me. I'm as old as old can be. Oh, my goodness, golly gee. Oh, my goodness, don't pick me. So that's it, then. Like no reptile racer? Like I said, we're gonna have to forfeit. And forfeit means? We lose. No! Oh, I'm sorry, folks. I'm afraid I let you all down. Oh, wait! I think I might have an idea. What about that troop of actor types we met earlier? What was their leader's name? Oswald or Osborne or... Oh! Osgood, that was his name. I think they seem to know something about the race. I'm going to try to find them and see if they have any ideas. I heard they were out in the dunes looking for Bonnie Bunny. It's going to be dark soon, really dark. Right, all they have is the moon and stars to light their way. 
Let's hope that he finds the truth. Maybe the race can still be saved. I, I hope, hope it works. Maybe we should help look. and my fellow troubadours at your service. And it appears just in the nick of time, for we understand that your incredibly charming, personable, and talented sports reporter, Buddy Quartz, is looking for us. Some nonsense about a forfeit? Surely this can't be true. In the words of the sporting world, Saturday so! <laughs> oh, it's so, all right. Simply out of the question. One of you shall run. Of course you shall. Win, indeed. <gasps> yes. Yeah, that's all fine and dandy, but who's going to run? We're out of racers. <laughs> Nonsense. Coach Shelly Bolback, you shall run the race. What? And you shall win the aforementioned race, just as you did some four decades ago. Come on, Coach. Give it a shot. Come on, you can do it. We believe in you, Coach. The coach is the one who will win and done. You're just, just a, a little, little rusty, that's all. So, what do you think, Coach? Well, quite frankly, it doesn't matter what the coach thinks. <laughs> she simply must run, and she simply must win. It's how the story has been told for thousands of years. It always ends with the tried and true tortoise overcoming the humiliated hare, which gives uncontested proof to the moral of our story. Slow and steady wins the race! Slow and steady? But I'm old and out of shape. Slow, I can do. But it's a long race for a snappy old turtle like me with snippy little legs like mine. Oh, coach! Now don't concern yourself with the whole race. Not all at once. Think of it as, um... One step at a time, and soon enough, you're across the finish line. Let's show them how it's done. You put the first foot in front of the other, then the back foot goes in front, and then you put the first foot in front of the other, then you do it all over again. It's really quite simple. Let's show them how it's done. Double time, shall we? You put the first foot in front of the other, then the back foot goes in front, and then you put the first foot in front of the other, then you do it all over again. Everybody now, double, double time. First foot. In front of the other, then the back foot goes in front, and then you put the first foot in front of the other, then you do it all over again. Wow! <laughs> wow. Well, golly, that was good oh, exercise. Oh, okay, Whoa, so was that. Oh. <laughs> and kind of fun, but... But what? But slow, but steady... But slow and steady just isn't enough to win the race. You it's see, working. I'm just so slow, and I trip on things. Well, no, listen, dear chap, listen. Speed alone doesn't make one ready. You can be slow and clumsy if you keep it steady. Oh, Red, watch this. Slow and steady in front of the other. Slow and steady in front and then. Slow and steady in front of the other. Slow and steady over again. Let's try it. Slow and steady in front of the other. Slow and steady in front of the other. Slow and steady in front of the other. Slow and steady over again. One more time. Slow and steady in front of the other.
to run. That is the question. And coach, tell us quick, because it's nearly no! run. Oh, dear me, that was frighteningly close. I very nearly said race time. No! Oh, that's good. interrupt and ask again, what was that? Yo, I've got an idea. Going live to the news desk. Hit it, Ralphie. Yo, you got it, Gordy. Hit it, Polly. Hit what? Oh, sorry. In five, five four, four, three, two, two go. go! Cupcake O'Rourke and Bailey Luce here with the WMCT News Bulletin. The big race is scheduled to begin in minutes, and the reptile camp has announced a last-minute replacement for the green team. It's a real shocker, folks. Coach Shelly Bullback will be racing for the greens. The coach hadn't set one foot since a come-from-behind victory 40 years ago. A spokes reptile says that the coach's strategy will be, quote, one foot in front of the other, unquote. If, by some miracle, Coach Bullback should defeat Curly Burly Hair. Well, what a fabled finish that would be. Today's other big story. Sadly, Fawny Bunny has still not been found. As the sun begins to set, mammals and reptiles working paw and claw continue the search in the desert for signs of Fawny Bunny. Mammals and reptiles, brown and green, working together. Perhaps some good will come out of this tragedy after all. And we have a special guest in the studio this evening. Here with us is Bonnie Bunny's mom, Esther the Hutch Mother for the Curly Hair Junior Fan Club. Thanks for being with us, Miss Bunny. What's the latest, Esther? Still no news, I'm afraid, but I brought a picture of my Bonnie if you would like to see it. We'd love to. Just hold it towards the camera. Oh my, she's a cutie. Yes, she is. Sorry, I'm a little. Take your time. I know my Bonnie will be just fine. I just know it. And I want to thank all of you mammals and those of you in the green community who have been searching for her. I guess, well, we're all one big family. And that's a word from little Bonnie's mom, Esther Bunny. Well said, Miss Bunny. Esther, thank you for being with us during this difficult time. Now back to our race coverage. Folks, for the first time, we have satellite pictures coming from us for Tornado Gulch, the desolate backstretch of the race. Who knows, maybe the runners will have more luck than the search parties. Well, Stormy, what's the final word on the weather for the race? The windy, the windy rescue at Tino Gulch. The skies will be dark and clear and the temperature will be chilly. That's really good. Really, really not so good. Pretty bad, really. Stormy. Pretty bad, really, because a chilly night for the little lost bunny. Unfortunately, Stormy, you're right this time. And now, two buddy courts at sidetrack for the start of tonight's big race. But first, here's a word. Here's Philo with the last word from Fair Gas. Philo? Cupcake, we don't have time for another commercial. The race is going to begin soon, and we're just too worried about Bonnie Bunny. But first thing in the morning, folks, come on down to Fair at Gas. Your gas is a smile. And remember, reptiles always welcome. Quoting the poet, it does appear that the times, they're a changing. Let's hope so. Hey there, buddy. Hey, guys. As you can see, fans of both racers are pouring into the starting gate after a long, long, long day of fruitless searching for Bonnie Bunny. We're waiting the arrival of tonight's runners as soon as... Hold on here, something rather unusual seems to be happening. The mammals have, have crossed the track to the reptile side. The atmosphere appears to be rather well friendly. Mammal paws are shaking green claws, and reptile claws are shaking brown paws, and smiles all around. It's even beginning to rain tears out here. The furry friends seem to be thanking the scaly supporters for their concern over Bonnie Bunny. Now a few of the reptiles have crossed to the mammal side. I see smiles and nods and what's this? It seems to be goodwill all around. But wait, look who's coming! QC and Curly. Sorry about that. Curly Burly has arrived at the Weasels. A 
Apparently, the victory party is over. Curly is signing autographs and greeting posse members. The coach is approaching the starting line with members of the theater troupe who seem to be giving the old coach some last minute advice. I don't see their spokesperson. I think his name is Osgood. And Osgood is hard to miss. Incredibly good looking, captivating charm, and a brilliant smile. Reminds me of someone, but I can't think who. All right, this is it. The racers are at the starting line. They take your position. The crowd is counting down in five, four, three, two, one, go! Oh, the coach is staying with a one foot at a time strategy and is off to an early lead. Curly is still at the starting line sharing a lap with those wily weasels. The coach is nearing the base of the first dune and Curly's finally off. Curly passes us in the flash. Curly's coming up behind. No, oh, Curly's passing Coach Bullback and is over the crest and out of sight. The coach is still going and is up, 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 over the hill. Hey, the coach is in the hill. Oh, 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 I, I, I didn't mean, well, you know what I meant. Although we can't see them from here, both runners will soon be entering the dark shadows of Tornado Gulch. It will be a long and lonely stretch until we see them again at the finish line. What? Right now? Okay, I just got word from our control booth that the satellite pictures are ready. So let's have a look at Tornado Gulch. The Windy Rescue at Tornado Gulch. The winds appear to be blowing up quite a storm. In fact, I can almost feel it from here. The short nap. Too bad the sun's gone down. I could have caught a few rays. <clears throat> hey, yo, who are you? My name is Bonnie. As in Bonnie Bunny, the little squirt who's been hogging my spotlight. Well, get lost, kid. I'm already lost. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. Listen, how about autographing your hero, Curly Burly? That would be nice, but I prefer to keep the Curly. Not gonna happen, no grateful little rodent. Why, any kid would just be thrilled to be having this chat with the great Curly Burly. <laughs> hey, oh, <laughs> Hey, hey, no crying, understand? Listen, I see the old coach coming down the road. I'm out of here. Hey, wait, can, I take, can you take me with you? Hey, kid, are you kidding? I got a race to win. As soon as I cross the finish line, I'll send a few of my mammals back for you. Oh, here comes the coach. I'm out of here. Wait, you're going to be okay, aren't you? Ah, sure you are. See you at the finish line. Bye-bye, kid. I'll be going home with you. 
out there, and what a sight it was. The Windy Rescue at Tornado Gulch. It was almost a miracle, really. A miracle of kindness and compassion. Oh, I have a feeling that Curly's gonna win this race, but everybody's champion will be Coach Shelley Bullback, right? And look, here comes Curly now. Curly's in the home stretch. Curly's approaching the finish line. Curly's crossing. Wait, Curly's stopping. Come on, Curly Burley, the race is on! Guys, that finish line and cross it now. You're Curly Burley. Where are you going? Maybe Curly isn't so burly after all. Cross that line or the weasels are through with you forever. Curly seems to be ignoring those weaselly threats and heading over to Esther Bunny, little Bonnie Bunny's very happy mom. Let's see if we can not listen in. I'm so ashamed. I thought no one would like me if I didn't win the big race. I didn't care about Bonnie. to say, Coach Bullback. Please, call me Shelly. Aw, oh, thanks, Coach. I mean, Shelly. <laughs> you ran a steady race, you rescued Bonnie Bunny, and you managed to unite the whole town of West Sandy Bottoms. <gasps> Green, scaly folks and brown, fuzzy folks. All folks, all family. And not only that. Not only that, but you're a proud winner of oh, a slightly better than Philo Fair Bobblehead. Now, coach, take center stage and tell us how does it feel? It feels fine. Really fine. And I'd like to congratulate Curly Hair. Curly, I know you're gonna win the race this year. But hey, there's always next year. Yeah, I know it looks like I'm gonna win the race a bit this year, but I wish things could be different. Well, maybe things can be different. Curly, coach, a moment of your time. Yes. Oh. Whisper, whisper, whisper. That's really good to me. Curly, are you sure? You betcha. Well then, it sounds really good to me. <laughs> I suppose. But sometimes change can lead to good things. I yeah. truth has learned a lesson from all of you. Oh. All of you wise residents of West Sandy Bottoms. 
Now, where is that delightful young sports reporter? But he must be on hand to describe the end of this remarkable race. Why, yes. It would be such a shame for Buddy to miss the end. Oh, good. Why don't you go find Buddy? Okay. Oh. Buddy! Buddy! Where did you go? I wanted to shake your hand. Oh, huh. thank you. <laughs> Sports is drama, folks. And I have a feeling that the end of this race promises some spectacular drama. Look at this. It appears Coach Volback, Bonnie Bunny, and Cutie Curly have linked arms. It appears to be a show of Friendship, but the race is still on. No one has crossed the finish line. This is the most amazing display of sportsmanship this reporter has ever seen. Coach Shelley Bowback, Bonnie Bunny, and Cutie Curly are crossing the finish line together. <laughs> But thanks to the troop, we all win. Because we're all part of a brand new fable. We're all part of the greatest race. Woo! Helping me and my partner 
do everything you can imagine, from getting kids to their spots, helping us with makeup, helping us make sure everybody's doing the right thing, giving people acting advice. She has been so, so helpful this week. So thank you, Haley, really, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. There's one more person you need to meet, and that's the director for this week, and my tour partner, Hannah. We have a few people we need to thank before we get going today. First and foremost, everyone here at this Cultural Activity Center, especially Kristen, Jane, and Tanya for all of their every all of their work, everything they've done this week. So thank you guys. We really appreciate it. We also again need to thank our sponsor, the HEB Tournament of Champions, for supporting us financially and bringing us here.
Everybody stand up, please. Stand up. That same body in position. Get a big smile. Yeah, I'm just doing it. 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 I'm just doing it
All right, you guys can take pics with your family if you want before you change, or you can change. Do you want any pictures? Yo, watch your clothes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.